Welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And on today's we're taking a look at the official trailer, English show, for Star Wars Visions. Of well, course, they released it pretty much, and they, they dropped it on their channel full on English though. There, there is two versions. There is an English dub version, and also online you can find a uh, Japanese dub version of it. So I'm going to explain. Yeah, of course, we already saw the inside look. We got a bit of a sneak peek about what they're working on this. It's basically non canon Star Wars uh, story. False anthology story set in the Star Wars universe. They're pulling out Animatrix. Yes. Do uh, they have um, very well known uh, Japanese animation studios working on all of these episodes? Each all types of studios, not just Jap mainly Japanese, but I all thought it was primary to Japan. No, it's 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 pretty much more. It's more variety of this animators, not just uh, full on ja uh, uh, Japan. Um, but yeah. what again? It's just more of like uh, more uh, influential artists, pretty much putting their taste on what they love, pretty much what, about the Star Wars universe. They pretty much uh, you know just showing the different artwork, the different styles, but also their own stories they want to add into it. Even though it's not canon, but it's it's a type of situation where it's all that's what it is, pretty much. It's just a, a bunch of artists, you know, coming together and putting this together. Yeah, it is, I looked online. It's various. They describe it as various Japan. Studios. Yeah, but so that's why I said very various. That's why I said just not just you know what I mean. Uh, but let's just dive into this and and finally see pretty much you know what to expect from these uh, these shorts and and pretty much uh, stories that they're delivering. Nine shorts for uh, and this for the official trailer for Star Wars Visions. So here we go. Long ago. And entrusted our ancestors with this. Its power and responsibility now lie with you. Ooh. Oh, God damn. That one, that one fucking. By the force since you were born. At last, the moment to rise. Mm. It's the first time I've confronted such darkness. Something ancient and sinister. Whoa! Oh! Responsibility. I like the remix too. So the only one I can rec the only one I recognize, I know that studio is the Killer Kill uh, Studio. Uh, I can recognize their image, whether or not I don't. It, it looks fantastic. I, what I love about it is that this is giving Disney and even uh, was it uh, Lucas Film stuff like that idea. If you think about it, they're grabbing. It's like yes, we're seeing different uh, stories, different different unique type of stories being told, but they're looking at different animation styles because there's always way that they they always want to find ways to kind of change up their storytelling for like a Star Wars story. And to me, this is a great way of kind of exploring into that world of like what can you know we can really grab that you know we're really grab people's attentions that we can say, hey, let's try to use this animation, add that. Yeah, and they did that. With, if you think about it, they kind of first did that with. Um, on YouTube, or at least on the uh, yeah, on uh, Disney uh, on Disney, pretty much a uh, channel where it's like they grab the iconic uh, 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 recreations of certain shots in the Star Wars universe and get uh, kind of gave it that unique uh, anime type of style, and people loved it. So it went from there to like what we get here, where it's like let's ex let's explore more of what we can do uh, with not only animation but storytelling in the Star Wars universe. 
cool. And that's what I love about this, and that's where I love where they went with this. Um, go ahead. No, I wasn't gonna say anything. You, I, I'm not gonna say you said it. Right. I was gonna say because you did. But um, yeah, it looks r- uh, amazing. I I wish I could describe it in detail like you did, but yeah, it looks really amazing. I think. Uh, what, you, what you can do with this if it's successful is each season could possibly be a different country doing a set of shorts. That's like another, yeah. this season one is Japan, season two could be, I don't know, I don't know, Europe. You know, yeah, like, you made a good point. There was like we dive into every country and see but, their styles of animation and what they want to do. But you can definitely tell if they, I, yeah, I believe they show a little every all nine shorts. You can definitely tell the variety Japan has alone. Like, like, like even for those hardcore anime fans, you can tell which studio do what. Like, like I said, there was only one I could recognize because I've seen that animation style before. You've seen it briefly in a death battle, which was the Kill a Kill the, uh, studio, but like. Um, a lot of variety like fuck man it looked like one looked like something Miyazaki did one looks like something the guy behind Astro Boy did the black and and the black and white one is the one I'm fucking want to see but that's what I was saying though it's like what I, that's what I love about this is that is that they're exploring it into different worlds of animation pretty much people that stuff that people are already deep into you know when, when it comes to Japanimation you know it's like they know what they you know they know the varieties that a lot of people love so this gives people you know a mixture of it it's like where you know where even if you've never seen this animation maybe this is the moment that it's like you realize okay if you like this animation go watch this anime because it's got the same type of animation feel that you like or this or that and that's what I love about these uh, nine different films is that uh, the nine are different shorts where it's like you are diving into different uh varieties different pretty much mindsets of different animators of like how they put together these phenomenal stories but also this these phenomenal uh action sequences with the the animation style so that's how come like i said i brought up you know how disney originally did their own little anime thing when they did iconic uh star wars shots pretty much only you know from like Mm -hmm. scenes from the the the, from the films and it's like they they, it's like people love it and want it more so that's where it's like i can see why they decided let's do this you know let's do what you know uh they did with animatrix and just give give people a variety of different types of styles and stories of you know within the star wars universe so that's that's what's pretty cool i know for a lot of fans they're the biggest question for a lot of anime fans especially in america is are you are they gonna want i know how i'm gonna watch but are they gonna watch an english dub or japanese dub which i'm curious about because, yeah, that's a good question. because they yeah. do like i said that, um some people i'm I, i'm glad we didn't do it because that would have been a headache but i'm like some people have been doing reactions to both the English dub and the Japanese dub trailers and like from what I heard the Japanese dub is good as well. I mean English dub we got here. You know, based on what I've seen of anime English dubs, it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Nothing I don't think anything astounding, but it sounds pretty uh serviceable overall. Um yeah, yeah right around the corner as well and it's cool that they got that they're they're letting P fans do this with Star Wars. It's really cool. So other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Star Wars stuff or Disney Plus original series in general, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thoughts are on this this pretty much uh Amazing trailer, pretty much showing off the different varieties of artwork and artists and stuff like that. Do you have any favorites that look like that stand out for you? That like ones that are just like, holy crap, I want to see that one specifically, just because of the animation or just this. You just love the variety they're giving. You can't wait to see, watch them all, just to see what kind of world we're gonna dive into for each each story. I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought. And again, that's a you know the question: Are you gonna watch it full English dub or are you gonna watching full you know you know just the regular japanese track pretty much uh uh, voice work i mean let us know in the comments down below put down out of our reaction overall but most importantly thank you for watching oh if you're wondering japanese dub for me so until next time though i'm chris i'm christopher and this has been a very visions filled episode of srb see it later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.